When working on a bigger project or just downloading some files from the assets store, you might run into this problem, which is just telling us that we have two scripts with the same name. And this is a problem for the compiler because it doesn't know which class is holding what and it is all getting messy. So what I have here is I have a player. The player might need to have some health system, which for now is holding just a reference for the player. On the enemy, I have something similar. The class has the same name, which is the problem. Then I have a reference for the enemy. So how do we fix that? We could obviously just rename the class, but we would have to rename it here and also in the Visual Studio. So it would result to something like enemy health system and player health system, which doesn't look the best. And that's why we need to use namespaces. And how do we put this class into some namespace? It's pretty simple. We just type namespace, give it some name. It can be anything you want. So for the player, it can be just a player, then the curly brackets, and into them you can put as many classes as you want. And now they are being held by this namespace called player. Pretty simple. We can do something similar for the enemy namespace. So we have two namespaces. Now let's say that from the health system, which is on the player, I want to get a reference for the enemy and maybe let's say set the object. So I'm searching for the health system, which is name of the enemy's class, but it is giving us only one option, which is the player, which is the namespace, dot health system, which is not correct because we want to access the enemy's health system. For this, if we want to be able to also access the enemy's namespace in this class, we can just add using enemy. Now we can add public enemy, dot health system and we have a reference for the enemy script so we could do something like this and it goes the same way for the enemy so if you would want to access the health system of the player in the enemy we would need to add using enemy or if we set the namespace to the player so that they are both in the same namespace we'll be able to access all of the properties but because the names of the classes are the same, we can't do that. Another thing with the namespaces that you can do is basically create a namespace in a namespace. So when I type player dot and let's say I can name it health, I have namespace player and I have namespace player dot health. This might seem a bit confusing to you, but you have already been using these nested namespaces because as you can see up here, we are using namespace system that collections and in the collections namespace we have another namespace so you have already been using the nesting namespaces and that's pretty much all that you can do with namespaces it is only about organizing your script into something like folders so don't forget to use your namespaces and i hope that this video was useful if you have any questions drop them down to the comments don't forget to like subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye! Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you are looking for a Unity, C Sharp or Bolt tutor, then I am here for you, so feel free to send me a message to my Gmail and take a look at my website for more info. I can help you with your personal projects or teach you anything about game development you would want to know. You are welcome.